Okay, let's talk about algebra and the number one tip you need to know as a student to be successful in the subject. So a little bit about myself. I am a middle and high school math teacher and of course I've taught algebra along with a lot of other math um, courses. So this particular video, um, there's a few things I could have uh, said or like our top things you really need to know. Okay, so this one tip, if somebody said pick the number one thing and if I was forced to, to put something at the very very top this would be it so that's what we're going to talk about here in a second but I want to um, also stress that this what I'm going to talk about here would apply to pre-algebra algebra 2 college algebra or any other really math course um, that you're taking so if you're new to my YouTube channel and you um, kind of like my teaching style I literally have hundreds of videos on my uh, YouTube channel can help you out. Uh, definitely in algebra, I have a lot of algebra videos and other type of videos as well. So hopefully you'll consider subscribing. And if you uh, really want to check out my full learning program, I, I have a complete comprehensive online courses. I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video if that's something that you think you might be interested in. Okay, so let's get to this. What's the number one tip you need to know in algebra? Well, let's put a, a problem up here that I'll kind of uh, explain my point so if you want to just to kind of make it a nice little pop quiz here's a basic algebra equation that's kind of centered a little bit okay so this is something that you definitely should be able to solve like in algebra one so matter of fact if you want I'm gonna solve it if you want to kind of challenge yourself you can pause the video and, and solve it then I'll of course I'm gonna go through the solution but that's not the the, you know, going to the solution is not uh, the tip, okay? So I'm going to kind of get to the tip right now. Now, this is coming from the perspective of a teacher, okay? So I'm a teacher, not a tutor, someone who's, you know, I have to have to grade homework, test, quizzes, literally thousands and thousands and thousands of them through the years and determine, you know, hey, does this student know what they're doing? What grade should I give them? what's going on, where are they making mistakes, etc. So the only way a teacher can interpret that, so here I am the teacher, I'm looking at your work. Your work is the only way I can kind of judge what's going on, at least with a piece of paper. Okay, so if I'm looking at the, the piece of paper, I can't, the only way I can assess your knowledge is by what you give me. Now, of course, I could go over uh, to you and I'd say, okay, can you show me this on the chalkboard or the whiteboard and you would just do whatever you're going to be doing, right? Then I could kind of diagnose and see what's kind of going on. That would be almost kind of like a tutoring or one-to-one -one kind of uh, session to see, to see what, you know, how well you understand the material. Now, what you should be doing, okay, is the following. And this is the tip. The number one thing you need to do to be successful in algebra is show all of the steps. Like, do not skip any single step and I'm going to tell you why this is so important okay so it's the number one thing for a lot of reasons okay first of all just in solving problems in general you need to just kind of, uh, kind of really take it one step at a time a lot of students and let me just kind of contrast this what they want to do is they go okay you know I'm kind of like not feeling like I want to do this problem and uh, yeah this is, looks like I can kind of like simplify that to this and then maybe one more step and then they just get the answer they try to skip because they're uh, there's a couple different things one they don't know what they're doing or two they just kind of like want to finish the problem quickly but typically for middle and high school students uh, you know I hate to kind of say it but I think some students get kind of lazy they don't want to write everything out okay and that's, I was the same way back in high school many, many years ago. So yeah, it's just kind of a process of maturing, if you will. Um, so don't, you know, don't feel bad like, oh, well, you know, hey, you know, it happens. And trust me, I'm not uh, criticizing that's the case because when you're, when you're studying math, it does require discipline. And if you don't really particularly like the subject, you're going to get kind of like, you know, what's the word, you know, uh, impatient with it. Like, yeah, I just want to finish this problem and move on to the next problem. But if you if you take this kind of shortcut steps, you're going to run the, the risk. I'm just telling you right now, your chances of making an error, a mistake are going to be like 90% plus. So if you're going to take a problem and solve it, 
and you're gonna, not going to show all the steps, you're really you're wasting your time because chances are you're going to get the wrong problem. So one, I mean, you're going to get the wrong answer. So number one, you're going to get the wrong answer. But just as importantly, the teacher doesn't know what you if you know it. Let's say you do get the right answer. Okay, if you don't show all your work, oftentimes the teacher will not um, uh, re give you reward you full credit. So you need to show your work as proof. Okay, that you know what you're doing. Also, when you're doing a problem and you're showing each step, this is really important to kind of audit yourself as you're doing the, um, working the problem out. You'll be like, okay, I'm doing this step. Now I'm going to do this step next. Oh, I made a mistake here. Let me go back and fix it. You can kind of control the problem. And a teacher can read. I should be able to read your work and be like, oh, they made a little mistake here. And that kind of threw off the rest of the steps, but I'll still give them eight out of 10 points because that was a little tiny error. And I'll make a note over here. Hey, be careful when you're doing this, that type of thing. But if you're not showing all your work and if you're practicing that way, you're going to get yourself in a lot of trouble. And um, I can tell you right now, if you follow this one tip, you, everything's going to improve in terms of how well you're doing in algebra. Because if you can't do the steps, the, if you're like, okay, I can do this step. I can do this step, uh, but I'm really struggling right here. Well, that's going to really help your teacher or help you because you can you know uh, very specifically where your problem's at, like where you're not understanding. You can't go to your teacher and go like, I don't get this. I don't get, I don't, I've heard that so many times. Like, I don't get the math. I don't get this. I'm like, yeah, you got to break it down. You got to be like a little more specific. Okay, unless a teacher has to do a full like diagnostics on you, an assessment, and be like, okay, what do you know this? Okay, do you know this? Do you know this? Do you know this? You should be kind of like managing um, uh, that part for yourself. So if you get stuck on something, you're like, man, I really don't understand this part of the problem. You can ask a very specific question to your teacher or, or look it up. So let's go ahead uh, and actually solve this problem. Hopefully you did, and then we'll we'll uh, wrap it up. So again, there's some other things here that I can stress, uh, but if I had to choose one thing, this would be it. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this problem. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is a, is the distributor property because I have parentheses, and I'm not gonna try to fully teach on this, but let's go ahead and do it anyways together. So this is going to be two times four x. That's eight x, and then two times this one. So that's minus two plus 10x equals 8x plus 2. Now notice that's all I did. I just took one step. I applied the distributive property. Now what's a common mistake is I would see this right here. So someone would be like 2 times 4x, that's uh, 8x, and then they, and they go 2 times 1, but they put 1 here. They made a mistake. So right off the bat, they made a mis mistake with the distributive property. So every, even if you did everything perfectly from this point forward your problem is going to be wrong because of that one thing and if I see a trend in your work it'd be like oh if you just fix the distributive property that's going to like you know uh, really you know get you to uh, do these problems correctly okay so the next thing I want to do is combine like terms on, on both sides so the only like terms I have over here is 8x and 10x so that gives me 18x minus 2 equals 8x plus 2 Okay, so this is, well, I'm taking it one step at a time. All I did was to combine like terms. So here was the result of doing the distributive property. Here's the result of combining like terms. Now I want to move this two over to the right-hand side. So I'm going to add two to both sides of the equation. So I'm going to get 18x is equal to 8x plus four. So that's one step. Okay, so I could see what's going on. I'm checking my work. It uh, looks pretty good. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is move this 8x over to the left-hand side. So I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides of the equation. And I'm going to add down here. I'm going to get 10x is equal to 4. Okay, so I'm looking here. Everything looks good. I'm checking my work. And, of course, if you're not quite understanding this, then, of course, you need to do some work on uh, solving um, uh, basic equations. But then my last step here is I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 10. So I get x is equal to 4 tenths. Of course, I can reduce that to 2 fifths, and I'm done. So this is what a math teacher wants to see. They want to be able to see and follow you, follow along what you're doing. Okay, boom. 
this person shows me that they know how to do the distributive property. Uh, oh, because they appear to understand combining like terms. They see how to move numbers to one side of the equation. They see how to move variables to one side of the equation. They understand how to solve basic one-step equations. They understand how to reduce fractions. Okay. So at the end of that, what do you get? You get a big smiley face. You get like five stars. Remember back in first grade? <laughs> at least back when I was in first grade, you know, they teach you to make you feel better by putting stars on there. You get an A plus. Hey, listen, you're going to feel good about learning math and, and succeeding in algebra. Okay. But here's the thing. If you if you're like, yeah, you know, uh, I really don't want to do that. I can just like do some mental math. Like I can combine these two steps in one, in which you could, okay, like I could. But even myself as a math teacher, even though I can do it, and I've been doing this stuff for decades, okay, and I have a degree in math, a master's degree. That's all I've, I've done for, you know, uh, many, 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 many years. Even myself, I have the discipline, you, you have the, the habits of way you approach math. You really want to be like kind of a, you know, like an algorithm, a procedure. And the way you practice math is the way you're going to do math on your quizzes and, and test. Okay, so if you're going to do your homework, don't be lazy about it. I'd rather, me as a teacher, if I give you 10 problems, I'd rather you just do five correct and then not even do these other five, like forget it. I'd rather you do at least some right instead of doing all 10 poorly. You see what I'm saying? Anyways, so there's some other things that are really, really important um, as well. Uh, I actually made some, um, several videos on my YouTube channel if you want to check them out in uh, various playlists. Uh, other tips that are really, really good for you in uh, mathematics and in algebra. But if again, if I had to pick one thing uh, to learn algebra or to be successful in algebra, this would be it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Again, um, I'm going to leave a link to my full learning uh, program. I have a lot of different math courses, middle school, high school, college. Uh, so again, you can check that out by just following the link in the description. I literally have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel. I'm posting all the time. So if you kind of like my teaching style, you want more of my videos, please uh, consider subscribing. If you like this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave us some feedback. Does this uh, video resonate with you? It's like, oh yeah, I can see that. Okay. Or, or maybe you think something else is the number one thing uh, for you that you think uh, should be like the number one tip. So any feedback would be good feedback. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in algebra and in mathematics in general. Thank you for your time and have a great day.